Hello, hello, welcome to Agiotech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to program step by step from scratch and also how to learn general digital skills and then creative ideas. We do everything right here on this channel. Remember, you need to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how we can recreate the Google Chrome logo step by step using Adobe Illustrator. So without much ado, let's jump straight to the action. At the end of the day, we should be able to get something like this. So how then do we create logo within Illustrator? We first need to get a concept. So Illustrator have so many tools in which you can use. So what we are going to do is that we need three cycles in order to build our logo or design our logo, the Google Chrome logo. So I've already created a new artwork. If you don't know how to do this, just go to the file menu, new, and then you have to specify the shapes you want, the sizes or for your design. You can decide to select anything at all. I normally go with the inches and then the width it's 11 and then the height is 8. You can go either the orientation, you want landscape or portrait, then click on create. And then you should get something just as I have. But I'm going to go with what I've already created. So let me just close this. I've already selected the colors I'm going to use for this logo. So I have what, four different colors. But we need what three, look, uh, three circles. So I have to go down here. And then I'm going to use my ellipse to, to build this. But I want a perfect circle. So I have to hold and shift. If you check here appearance, I need to turn off the fill. But I rather need a stroke in order for me to be able to differentiate between my circle. Okay, because I'm going to have three circles. Holding down shift, I will just drag across. And I notice that I have what? My first circle. We need two more circles within this. Okay, let me increase the stroke a bit. Okay, we can take off this stroke later on. So having this, I want my second circle. Holding that alt key on my keyboard, I will just drag this. And then it's going to give me a duplicate. To, to resize this, I have to drag inside. But I need to hold and shift whilst dragging in order to get a perfect what circle. So I have to make sure this is aligned to the center. Okay. I think I have to... Yeah. I think this is okay for me. And I need my last circle. So I have to hold and alt once, once again and then drag again. I'll get another copy. Holding down shift, I'll drag inside in order to get another circle let me also align this to the center perfectly i think okay uh, let me just align this okay i think it's exactly at the center yeah yeah so it's at the center now so we are good to go the first thing is we need to divide these shapes into three different parts so i'm going to use the line key when i come to my shapes i'll just select what line segment okay i'm using a line segment and what I'm going to do is that I'll drag one across this way. Okay. And I need another line this way. Over here. But I want this should be a perfect line. So I'll drag it this way. Let me move it. Let me drag this to the top a bit. Okay. I think. Okay. I think I wanted to divide. Okay. And I'm okay with this. And I finally I need the last one down here. Okay. So the last one is down here. So we have our shapes now. We can group this by using the move tool, drag across everything. And then we want to divide everything. To do that, we are going to use the pathfinder. If you can't locate the pathfinder here, just go to the window tab or menu. Just look for pathfinder. Select it and then you have it available to you. Okay. So you want to use the last one over, which is the divide. When I click on divide, notice that everything has been divided for me. In this case, I'm going to use the shape builder tool over here in order to build this shape. When I click over here, I'll just move everything within this and I notice that what I have my separate shapes. Okay. So this is exactly what we want now. And we can start applying our colors. So we want red here, yellow here, green here, and then the blue will be in the middle here. Then I think we are done with our logo. So without much ado, let's just try filling the colors. To fill this color, we are going to use the eyedropper to, to do that. Okay, so I need to first 
ungroup this okay so i'm grouping i can select them one by one you notice if i click i can easily select my shapes one by one okay so if i select this this is going to be red i'll use my shape builder to pick my red color here and then automatically it will fill that place with the color for me and then i'll also select this so this is supposed to be yellow using my eyedropper tool i'll click and then i'll fill that side with the yellow color and what again this is going to be green using my eyedropper to select green and then that place will also be done as well and the last thing i'm going to do is to fill this color with what the blue so i'll make sure this is selected use my eyedropper to select it and then that part is also filled for us but we don't need this stroke over here. so when i select this i can easily go and then turn off what the stroke as easy so i don't have a stroke over here and if you can take note and compare this to the google chrome we have exactly what google chrome is using we've created that so let me if you want to type and give any name just use your what your type tools click and then you can type google chrome logo okay i think we've just created that and using the move tool i can resize this I can resize this i have exactly what we want to do so we could see that within the few minutes we've been able to recreate the google chrome logo subscribe to this channel in order to give me the opportunity to create amazing stuff like this i'll teach you the step by step how you can use illustrator to create amazing brand identity hit the and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload new content remember to share this video with friends and then keep supporting our youth to create more content like this bye bye